Imagine we're at an Emirates Open Day. We're doing a group exercise and the test is all about you having one blanket left on board the aircraft and you have to choose whether to give it to a pregnant lady, an unaccompanied minor, a vlogger, a VIP, an off-duty Emirates crew member or a dissatisfied passenger. Now what would you do? Hi, I'm Orlando and you're watching Wishcasting. We do world travel guides and try to get you traveling for free by joining Emirates, one of the highest paying companies with biggest network in the world. Join our tutorials and travel guides every Wednesday and Sunday at 5 p.m. plus 2 GMT. Today's lesson is sponsored by the Emirates Wannabes Facebook group, getting you in touch with real Emirates flight attendants. It's the only online community made of Emirates cabin crew, ex-Emirates cabin crew, and aspiring cabin crew helping each other. Join now, it's free. Find the links down in the description. The scenario we're covering today is to be treated exactly as the scenario I've explained on my previous episodes. Please watch those videos since they're really good. Find them in the link up here. The main objective of the scenario is to show the recruiter you're super good in doing teamwork. Talking over other people, shouting, leading too much will fail you. Staying quiet, not interacting at all, not adding any value to the decision making will also fail you. The recruiters don't really care about your answer. They care how you choose the answer, how you all come to an agreement in choosing the answer. The way the scenario works is the following. The recruiter provides you details to the scenario and gives you around 5 to 15 minutes, depending on the size of the group, to discuss and choose among your team which is the correct answer. The recruiter will walk around and listen carefully to the way you communicate. He'll take several notes and compile a portfolio of good or bad actions you've had within your group. Once the time is up, you'll be confronted by the recruiter who will try to break you down with words and aggressive behavior to see how long you can handle stress and how you handle it. The recruiter will rotate characters by impersonating them and assaulting you verbally. Whatever you say, whatever excuse you find, she'll try to break you down and refuse your apologies. This link in the upper right corner is our masterclass series on joining Emirates. It's free, it'll always be free, and it's a gold mine. Trust us, follow it from the beginning to the very end. The procedure you should use is the following. Apologize immediately. Be empathetic. Explain in full details why this problem occurred. Offer alternative solutions by describing them in detail. Explain what course of actions you'll be following in order to fix the problem. And last, always follow up on the passenger. Explain what step you're currently at and what you're doing to fix it in detail. Most of the candidates trying to pass this group exercise break down, stutter, and don't know what to say. They look left and right and start apologizing for not knowing what to say. To make this episode more realistic, we made a live example for you to learn from. Excuse me. Uh, yes, madam, what can I do for you? I don't have a blanket. You didn't have a blanket on your seat when you first entered the no, airport? No, look, how is this possible? Uh, I'm very sorry about that. I believe some other passenger must have taken it because they were feeling a bit cold during boarding. Oh, no, them. Okay, but no problem. What I'll be doing is I'll be going throughout the whole cabin searching for a blanket for you. I'll ask my colleagues if they have any in their relevant areas. Okay, okay? please do. Thank I'll you. be right back. Madam, I'm very sorry I couldn't find a blanket for you, uh, so no worries, I've escalated the problem to my seniors and you'll probably end up getting a blanket from business class or first class. Is that okay for you? Yeah, that's totally fine as long as I get it. You will definitely, so I'll get back to you, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Use these effective body language tricks while interacting with a passenger. Listen completely and don't interrupt the passenger. Nod slightly and continuously with your head as the passenger talks. Make a serious and slightly upset face. As the passenger talks, look down for a while as if you're absorbing what he's saying and every now and then look at the passenger in the eyes. When it's your turn to speak, always look at the passenger in the eyes. Keep your arms straight along your body, let one hand grab your chin to show extra interest. Avoid the following body language mistakes. Don't make a super sad face since you still don't know what's the problem yet. Don't clench your fists. Don't cross your arms. Don't keep a straight, straight back. Don't move left and right all the time. Stay on your feet, hold your position. Avoid stuttering. Avoid saying, so, uh, uh we, we just couldn't, we, uh, 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 I mean like. So to recap, 
this is what you need to do to pass the group exercise. Listen and absorb the problem. Apologize immediately. Show your understanding and empathy. Point out which solutions are available. Point out what you're going to do. Explain what course of actions you'll be taking and what are you starting with. Explain very well why you're taking those actions with full details. Give power to the passenger by making him feel important. Inform the passenger that you'll alert other crew members for a more successful resolution of the problem. If the problem still isn't solved, consult your seniors only as a final resort. As a rule of thumb, don't ever forget of the passenger. Always check on the passenger. So always go back and see if he's satisfied or not with what happened and the resolution you've taken. Read the description below this video for extra information on the scenario. It's extremely helpful and will help you win the group exercise. Now that's it for today's video. We want to thank you for watching till the very end. We thank you for your support and following. It's oxygen for us. We're trying to reach 2000 subscribers and only your help can make the difference. Subscribe, comment, like, and share if you care supporting us. We do travel guides too. Feel free to take a look at our popular low-cost travel guides here. Check our entire free Emirates Masterclass course here. We'd love to know your experience in the comments below. If you have any other questions, just ask and I will reply. As always, it's my pleasure to do videos. Hope you liked it and keep it rolling, guys.